This morning we're going to cover the touch command in MongoDB, which is loading data into memory. Uh, the touch command, basically what it does is it's going to load from data storage into memory. Okay, And you can either select just the documents, uh, the data I should say, the data from the documents, or you can select the indexes, or of course you can select both. And um, there are, for those of you who are familiar with OLAP environments, there are benefits to loading data into memory. And especially in a world in which memory is, is rapidly progressing, you know, what used to, it's funny, people used to try to avoid this, like use as little memory as possible. And now you actually have approaches to um, loading data into memory. So uh, this is one of the ways in which we can do this in Mongo. So we're gonna start out by looking at, it's gonna be our, our db run command command and I'll go ahead and point out where we want to get into the specifics here. So we have db run command, we're gonna open up a bracket and we're gonna to say touch and this is where we're gonna pass in the collection name which in this case is fast data, okay? Now, I can do one of two things here. I can say data equals true, this is gonna load the data into memory, okay? And I can also, or, and, or here, I can also do index equals true. And what that will do is this will load both the data uh, into memory and the index into memory. Now, if I only want one, I can just say, you know, data equals true, index equals false, or data equals false, index equals true. So in this case, I'll go ahead and I'll type in false, right? So I'm going to load the data and I'm not going to load the index, okay? And you'll see it passes. And so what this does is this loads uh, this collection here, fast data, into memory. So again, depending on what you're trying to accomplish, what you're trying to do, uh, for some operations, especially for some, uh, not operations, well, for some operations and for some environments, it may be more effective to load your data into memory, especially if it's one of those data sets that's highly accessed. I do uh, use MongoDB a lot for high frequency trading. And again, there are collections that it's very, very beneficial to load into memory because of how uh, frequently they're going to be accessed because of the various read operations on them.